He's almost dead. And there he goes. Wonder if this place took it after that. This is gonna be a mess to remember. Fight! The cross up. The cross up, nothing. Oh, fierce, 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 fierce. Oh, yeah. 14 fierces, baby. 15? <laughs> you brought a weapon to an item fighting tournament. These should look like ground beef by now, after all those sword chops. Second hit now. Shit. Oh, that was. Oh, what? That was bait, I guess. <laughs> instant, instant dodge on the land. Or just a slow punish. Dodge. Adina really needs to dodge between those pokes and then like catch them on recovery. Because while they're really good starting up, they're not that great on recovery for most of uh, Hall Mario's attacks. Oh, that that Sandy Low Fierce or Sandy Low Fierce? Yes, that's what I meant. Whatever you do, don't do super at this range. I'm sorry, Stanley. Oh! Block. Oh! Overhead! <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> so why are you saying he shouldn't do super from that distance. You can easily just press Roll fierce, through. you know, oh. and if they trade, he gets another free fierce. Oh yeah, the count, yeah. yeah he doesn't knock him down. That's not good. You don't want to lose, like... Doesn't the super knock down, though? No. Not if he's trying to... Well... I thought it would. I don't know. I'm actually, might not. I don't play this game. But still, what, would, would, is at that point, would you want to risk that, you know, trading that fierce? That's a bad trade, so it's yeah. not really that good. Terrible trade. Live and let die. Fight. Should do a mashing dodge. Go to the next I guess. Oh, backbreaker! Oh man, full screen jumping like it's so good! Tiger Cheek? Oh, oh it was. Tiger Cheek is hella invincibility. Oh man. Oh, oh, sick! Nice read. Got an overhead. It's fairly safe. Only loses to upper uh, flash kick. I think he might even trade with a flash kick. Flash kick's bad in this game. Got better than Street Fighter 4. Huh? Better than Street Fighter 4 at least. Yeah. At least he could focus his attack and cancel it in 4. Well, that's true. Doesn't uh, anti cross up though. Yeah, don't say fall up this after this. A lot of damage here. The low health Joe. Kick throw. Oh, nice. Okay. He's gonna try to make it look out. like it's RC. <laughs> <laughs> Uppercut. Oh. Oh, this oh my gosh. That S Joe. So OCV. good. The OCV's Come coming. On, OCV, man. You got OCV that shit. Well, ghost. Yeah, he got like, he let him charge like half a bar. Ouch! That wasn't that much. Oh man, swap his ankles. It hurts so bad the game lags. Oh man, they call this real honest fighting. He's like, this is dirty fighting. He's bringing a sword. And she has a knife and a bird. I know, this is dirty fighting, man. Nothing's honest about this. Good dog. Sit down. Well, I guess. Oh. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. There it is. One day he'll block it. One day. One day. Not today, but one day. I don't. I never block overheads. So who am I to? My jab. Oh! oh! The home run, the home run swing. 
but his best character is still Athena. It's still very winnable for Hal. Hey, oh, Lynx. Nice one frame Lynx. <laughs> what is this Psychosword mix up? Oh, man, again. All these curses. So sure. Well, oh, maybe that's time. He tagged him with the light kick. So ballsy. Pierce. Nice. Just run low Pierce. Uh, better than Sagat Pierce? My ghost. You're representing all S group out there. Oh, jeez! Oh, you just gave him a level three. Oh, it's two pierces. Oh, that was not intentional. Oh, man. He... Oh, what? so good! Oh, man. This is such a super. Somebody super. Oh, did he block high that time? Yes, he did. Oh! oh short, short, short. So close! That was really, really close. So good. The match of the tournament. Dave Tran's OG, right? We have some San Jose State, I've heard. I think so. Old school matchups. Yeah. Old school matchups. Dave Tran plays Seagroove and Agroove. Is, is Agroove his real team? Is Agroove his real team or Seagroove? Agroove is his real team or Seagroove? Oh, Lizzie's playing Agroove. I imagine if Lizzie loses, he'll switch to K. Alright, Lizzie's rocking his A group team. Yeah. I think he told me earlier that you know he's gonna rock his A group team until he loses. So we'll see how far that takes him. Nice not combo. I know. Tell me no combos. He <laughs> just threw him like three times in a row. Nice combo. Short jab forward. No throws. This has been doing a lot of that RC uh, swipe on um, Omidi. It's a pretty good mix-up. If, if you can't wake up RC, then it's hard to kind of get out of it. Oh, oh he tabs it with a touch of death super. No, he'd have three meters. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Random. Nails a cousin. I don't want to play against Lizzie. Thank you. Oh, Rarcy versus Rarcy. Oh, shit, that ship her out. Oh, that was bad. We could do it a little earlier. I don't know. Missing bread and butters, but lining the customs. Nah, that was the look of the same thing I imagine. I get a lot of accidental head stomps sometimes. Just walk backwards and then it's like, oh, this is Oh, free, paint, nothing. Nope. He drops it. Super. Yeah, Super. Back. Why'd you use level one? You didn't want to, you want to save that meter. I don't know, I don't man. Mind. For me, it's like, just, just kill him off. And they get that meter back anyway, yeah, especially. especially. Well, Bison is in the corner with no meter. It's, it's close. And seeing you build the meter so fast, I'd probably just use the level 2 myself, but... I don't necessarily think it's a good uh, an optimal play. Yeah. Look at people punishing rolls? What is this? Uh, not RC. Like, that RC. Oh, he's dead. He doesn't pump it up. Yeah, it's over. Go. Oh, look at that top tier reset.
Switch to Vagrid? Nope, sticking with Seagrid. Keep rocking. This is gonna be a match to remember. Fight! I'm not sure if I agree with this uh, order change. If you only leave that meter. Otherwise, you're just not scared probably better, better about fighting the, this uh, Bison. Lag. That's pretty funny. Lag. Lighting legs. Yeah, Lighting legs not too good against Headstone. That's short oh. forward. Yeah, she's dead. Yeah, this, this order change isn't working out. Oh, nice. That's your customer. Good shit. Nope. Oh, he drops it. Drops the combo. There we go. Level one. That was Level definitely not the right thing to do. Oh, man. Luigi's messing up his RCs. I don't know if that was an accident. More head sounds. It's pretty hard for Ken to deal head sound back there. Got to hit him in the air. Oh man, that's really risky. Good, good challenge. challenge. Surprised he didn't try to chip him out with Ken. But. Hey, that's nice. Oh, there we go. Three. That's not what he meant to do, I think. I'll take it. It's better than one. Yeah, it's just true. <laughs> so the half life. You already see that. So it looks like I'm up next. Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey man, only Tiger is a good player. Tiger knee. Tiger knee. Uh, straight up hurricane. I love doing those on accident. Oh, no punish. That was a nice punish. Oh, oh, drops the combo. Why is Lizzy being so lame? I'm supposed to be the lame one. He's supposed to play the entertaining Kager. Hey, man, if you can lame yeah, it out with oh, this. Oh, are you doing for the link? Anyways. Might as well. What's that? What did you say? Hey, if you can lame it out with this, might as well, right? I don't know why. Oh. Right, there it is. All right, I'm up. So disgusting. What's up, Lion X? What's going on? Oh man, we have, you have a nice match coming up right here, though. I, I, I know that last match earlier was a Molly Wop by Leezy against old school Dave Tran, SJSU. Man, that was rough. It was rough. But then again, you know, how often has he played? Probably not that often, and this is probably his first tournament back. But I mean, he's a guy that loves CVS too, just, kind of, just like the rest of us that are here today, you know? So. I'm pretty sure we'll see him again. He's going to come back with a vengeance for sure. In the meantime, we've got Onikage versus Phil. Battle of the A groups. Let's go. Who do you place your bets on in this match? Phil always. Phil always. I, 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 put, I put my money on Phil against anybody but VZ and myself. <laughs> oh, I see how this is. Real talk, real talk. Real talk. I, I cannot feel like I'm going to lose to these guys. I'm going to be playing them. 
Alright, fair enough. Okay. Right now, Onikage, you know, kind of holding his own, but kind of in a corner trap right now. He's got to figure out a way to get oh, out. That's not really the best answer. I still kind of messed I up. I am not sure what Phil is trying to do there. I think that's just an execution error, and that's just a bunch of RC um, hurricanes right now. Oh, that kick's so good. Yeah, that's a meaty dive kick right there. Not, not too much you can do right there, except block, but in, he took the hit, I think. So we got block against Sakura. This should be actually a terrible matchup for Blanca. If he lets them uh, do RC Hurricane all day. Yeah, exactly. He, he cannot alpha counter at all. The alpha counter will be, will be stuffed by the short show, short show, short. He has like the worst alpha counter in the game. Yeah. But right now, while Sakura doesn't have any meter, this is where he has to capitalize. Yeah. There's no other way around it. Oh, now Blanca has to watch out. The only thing he has right now is, is to counter right after. He does not counter right there. He should have countered, at least attempted to, you know? Yes, indeed. There's nothing he can do. Yeah. Not much it's up to this point. He still has a chance. He should not let Sakura live any longer. He needs to be... Oh, no. That was bad. Walk up throw. But it was kind of a telegraphed RC, so... You know, I think that's, that's what uh, put Phil in that position to walk up and throw. You can throw RC. At least certain of them. Certain of them. You get into his head, you know, uh -huh. make, make him scared of that uh, RC hurricane. All right, now, you know, Sakura's just controlling the pace. She's just running away, building some meter. And then whenever he... Oh, oh nice! Hey, 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 get that out of there. Simple, bread and butter. Don't even need to finish the A group. Just kill him. Just kill him off. Very good idea. You don't want to be dropping combos. But this is bad, though. My team for Phil has full can of paint. That was a two-hit scissor kick. Not safe. Could have been punished. Monokage did nothing for that. Monokage, again, in a really terrible position. Trip guard. And here we go. Oh, he messed up and dropped it. Phil! It's okay, not a bad choice. Not a great choice. But, I mean, he's out of the corner. He has, he has an opportunity right now to build some meter. Missing some punishes here. Guard crush is low, so he's kind of, he's not defending. He's trying to get out with RCs or something like that, and he's getting stuffed. Puts his game up. Phil just building meter, very content right now. Oh! Right, that's a bad... Oh! Oh! That's... Oh! This is terrible. Just some misuse by both players. Oh, Phil takes round one. Miscues by both players, so it didn't really matter. Phil was so ahead anyways. He could just sit there and build meter, wait for him to come to him, uh, wait for Onikage to come to him, and then capitalize on the opportunities. I think if Onikage wasn't so afraid of his RCs, he wouldn't be able to bring it back. I, I think if he tried to put it into a footsies game versus a meter building game, you know, so you, you gotta set the pace. He's trying to play the, me the meter building game and he's not winning it. <laughs> and that's, that's simply what it is. He's trying to build meter against Phil, but Phil is more superior at doing that than he is. So he's gotta change it to footsies. And he's gotta do that from the from the very first character, right now. Vega is a footsie space character. You don't need to really set back and build meter. Just outplay it. An ill-advised crouching medium punch right there. Oh, this is bad. Momentum's already in Sakura's favor. Already put Vega in the corner. And right here, you can just zone. Just keep her out. You know, don't, don't go in for any shenanigans. Just keep her out. He's walking back and puts himself back into the corner. See, he's not capitalizing on the Oh. Eats an overhead. Doesn't really matter. I think Phil just dictated the entire pace of the match right now. I, I think Phil's got the entire pace already. I mean, yeah. from the very first round when uh, when he, he beat the first Vega with Wasaka. I think even on the first knockdown, it was already pretty yeah. much there. Onikage needs to be on the offensive oh, right on, now. Onikage definitely needs to be more offensive. He is allowing Sakura to build meter right now, punching his uh, blocked balls. Full meter Sakura already. Oh, man. Again, only Terrible. thing that he has here is to be able to counter activate. activate. And that's it. He, he should not activate first unless he can sniff or set up that roll or pierce so short. Oh, man, it's terrible. Grave traps glory. He's not getting anything. Great trade by Phil. Very good read. Very good reaction. Phil's ahead and has a chance to OCB.
Again, more RC uh, hurricane kicks. And, and, and it's not that that's not. Oh, drops oh it! Oh my gosh. Oh no, this is terrible. It's gonna be that OCV opportunity. Oh no, drops it. Everyone's dropping customs today. Oh my goodness gracious. Live and let die. Fight. And again, if, if Phil wanted to just sit back and relax, he can right now. But he's going to decide to go on the offensive, put him what in the corner. You know? Yeah. Well, he's, he's playing an offensive zone. Earlier he had a. Uh, well, now he's in the corner, but it doesn't really matter. Onikage in the corner again, both with meter. It doesn't really matter. Oh, dear. Very good bait with the jump back medium. Getting uh, get out out right now. This is getting out of hand. Onikage looking kind of lost. Phil he needs to punish that two hit scissor. He really needs to. Phil just dominant in this win right now. And win. hold on real quick. And I know that you be back. Huh? I have no idea. Can you ask Arturo? All ask Arturo. Are made to be ask Arturo. Do it, uh, M -Ghost. Oh, okay. So let's crack an M Ghost. Hey, what's up, homie? You're done oh, for. Man. You are so done for. These are the current top team rankings. What's up? Capcom. All right, you guys uh, can't see me right now, but this is Hans uh, here at iPlay Winner. Thanks for tuning in. Um, you know what? Uh, 425 for CBS2, that ain't too bad, but uh, I think we need more viewers in here, so you guys should uh, you know, hit up Twitter, Facebook, let everybody know uh, that we got some old school action going on. Right now we got uh, Mgos versus uh, Crackbeat. And I'm joined by uh, Lion X. You can uh, follow him on Twitter. Uh, CBS2 underscore Lion X, right? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely check out my YouTube channel as well. A lot of CBS2 videos in Japan, NorCal, and other places. And whenever there's high level CBS2, I'll be sure to get it for you guys to watch. So uh, we got a Joe Mirror here. Uh, M Ghost uh, playing S Groove, Crack Bean uh, playing A Groove. They're, so, they're like rivals, man. Are they actually yeah. rivals? Like it's three point four, SF Tekken, and now they're playing CBS too. You know, no they crap. got some beef. I didn't even know these guys even knew each other, man. <laughs> <laughs> CBS too, man. Learn something new every day. Um, so uh, what's what's the uh, what's the strategy here? I we're like, what's the matchup like both, with both these players going into it? Well, A Joe would probably like to RC okay. hands, and after he links RC hands, he would like to Baku cause of that into a custom. But apparently, M Ghost does not want that. Okay, Lightning Customs is overrated. What's up? Lightning Customs is overrated. I know, right? Everyone's <laughs> dropping it today. What, what's going on, man? <laughs> I like how we both drop it. I know. It's, it's like it's pretty sick. It's like, oh, he's got him. Oh wait, nope. Oh, he's got him. Ne oh, never, nope. assume, never assume. <laughs> never assume that we know what we're doing. So JoJo. So who do you got winning this? Um, Crack's a good player, but he has been rusty. Ghost has been playing uh, pretty much more consistently than Crack has been. Yeah. So it's all up to, you know, because uh, wow. Crack dropping Wow, we're at him activate. This is always funny. <laughs> dodging every, yeah, dodging well, the custom, it's pretty funny. But hey, you know, if you S group, you just keep dodging forever. You know, the best thing you can do is throw. What's going to happen? You know, whatever. You know, throw. Oh no, Ghost needs to attack right now before Ken has meter. Roll up a guy. Roll up a So good. That was a super late pass up. Oh, no fierce. That is low fierce, right? Low fierce, yes. It's one of the good anti airs in the game. Oh, he dropped the combo. Easiest custom in the game. Oh, so good. Well, he doesn't match it. He actually times it. <laughs> oh, he tries to time it? Yeah. Oh, man, I just mashed that shit, man. Like, whatever. Yeah, it works. It works just as well as just about it. Except when you're trying to finish it at the end. You're, you're like, the end. At the end, you gotta time it. But like, 90% of the tussle, I'm like, oh, whatever, I'm just gonna bash that shit. Oh. 
dash, dash. Mm, I'm not sure if that was a good. Uh, that was a nice take the level setting. Close that his board. Oh. Oh, man. Looks like an option select, but uh, this game doesn't have that OP option selects. This battle is about to. See the dodge, dodge, dodge. Hey, I love it. Oh, man. Smash that DP. We're in trouble. Delayed tick throw. He likes that close standing board. I don't really use that normally. I, I use it for combos, but not really as a. It's, not, it's okay. It's a pretty good particular, I guess. I don't know okay. what the. It seems to be pretty neutral. It's, it's good, but. A block. It's not something I use very often. It's good, it's good in the middle of combos. It's good. Because you can't do jumping. Fierce, standing curse, uppercut. There's too many characters. True. Only like Blanca. I think Ghost is giving Crack a little too much respect right now. Not that Crack's a bad player. Oh, no, he should have been dead. But there was many situations where Ghost could have just dodged and punched, uh, you know, Crack right away out of his custom, out of everything. Slide of it. Oh. I think he's too close. It's yeah. not a good, not a good time to do it. I can't drop customs against my next players. Probably you. I played David first. Oh, yeah. You play David, then I play you. And then the winner of this. The winner will play you. The winner of this plays. The winner of this plays. Yeah. Only Seeker has your block. But Kegu has just defend that Kegu has carry. Which is probably better. Probably, but yeah, anything can happen. I think I like Roll a lot as well. Because it's like hella gimmicky, you get RC and shit. Yeah. <laughs> your, I think, for your air options. I think Ghost is, Joe is definitely better than uh, Crafty, without, uh, even without RC at this point. His basics are a little bit better overall. Who? Ghosts? Oh. Joe, Joe? I mean, uh, you gotta watch out for that RC uh, pad, though. Uh, you gotta respect that. But other than that, uh, Crack loves his. I wanna see the hands that deactivate in the co custom. Uh, oh! Hey, 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 custom. Oh, Psychic Bird! Oh, that's not going to work. Not going to work, sorry. You can combo sweep into Bird. I've seen that. No, yeah, you can do that. I think that's like the only way outside of... Uh, you Random. think that's anti-crossing or something. <laughs> oh, wow. Challenge is sexy kick right there. No fear. And gets needed to Tiger Cheek. Oh, the bird. <laughs> what is he trying to pull? I don't know. I think Crying Feet is trying to burn time. Roll. Oh, yeah, that's not so good. He has advantage. Yeah. It's not, not going to kill her, but. Hey, he's damage is damage. Oh. <laughs> that's a black rock thing to do right there. Yeah. This battle is about to explode. Fight! At least I don't beat her as well. Oh, you can't roll through. right into it. Yeah. Yeah, she's dead. Oh, there was not though. You can't roll through the bird, huh? Because she recovers so quickly. Yeah, she recovers so quick. It's, it's insane. You got to hit her before the bird comes out, or don't hit her at all. Yeah, just block it. Oh, Chris is right under her. The funky kick. Just, just do it, man, you know? Very short bit. Run dodge. And then we go staple. Hey man, it works, dude. I'm not gonna hate on that. 
People threw out a lot of stupid stuff this turn. Uh. <laughs> that crouching fires. It's, it's, it's totally safe from certain ranges anyways. He needs like, to watch out though. It's full meter. Uppercut. What the heck? Oh, <laughs> what the heck was that? He rolled. I thought he was an uppercut. Maybe he's trying to RC something. Yeah, it's possible. I think you need to activate uppercut to the anti-air custom, maybe? Maybe. Uppercut roll, uppercut roll, uppercut roll, uppercut freeze roll. This matchup is actually relatively even. It's just uh, whoever gets the first pressure. Oh, catches her! Let's see, let's see if he messed up. Let's see if he also I'm pretty sure he got that. No, he, got he doesn't even need the super. I was, I was playing crack He was dropping yesterday. the super later. He, he totally got that far. He, he, he's okay with it. Oh, you're up. Aaron. All right, I'm up. GL, HF. GL, HF. Roll canceling is when you cancel the roll into a move and it makes it invincible. GG. I, I well exposed done. you! <laughs> I exposed you! I'm just kidding, I love this guy. I <laughs> know, A group versus SQ, I know, I know. I know, you shouldn't even have been that close. What are you? Huh? <laughs> shouldn't even have been that close. I know, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> At least you didn't drop your Roletto custom. Yeah, yeah seriously, I, I, for once I didn't drop combos. But I probably still drop servers. I, I have a monopoly on dropping customs. I'm, I'm just dropping supers, man. Like, like the yeah. actual combo itself right now, like, I'm actually hitting them. The, the double fireball motion on the Japanese sticks is what I'm dropping right now. Yeah, I get a lot of uppercuts. Yeah, of those. Or just nothing. On to the next match. That's why yeah. That's why we need Street Fighter 4 inputs. <laughs> <laughs> just to be an uppercut. It's Street an uppercut. Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4 inputs. Live and let die. Who is this? Lion X and Akata. Oh, man. Akata. Good matchup. It's, this is a really good matchup. Um, Akata, um, those of you, of you who don't know who he is, he's actually a cat from Berkeley. He's been playing CBS since like what, eight or seven years ago. Back in the days when we used to have university he can, battles. He can, he can still roll cancel. <laughs> yep. He can still roll cancel. He's, he's actually legitimately good. Is this his, his real team? Yes. So I play the winner of this. That should be interesting. Yeah, he's a very solid guy. He doesn't practice the game, but I mean, he still remembers it to some extent, you know? He's still RCing really well. Yeah, I think he's, I think he's a favorite here. Yeah. No, absolutely. From what, from what I've seen. David's absolutely the favorite. I mean, the RCs, the baits, like, he's, his, he's a smart player. His wake-up game is very smart. Mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to think. No, you absolutely I have I hate, to. I hate thinking when I play this game. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> yeah, you just want to roll and, and activate a group, right? Roll yeah. super, roll throws. <laughs> I just want people to walk into my RCs and then I ran and activate. <laughs> Meantime, um, yeah, I'll David. I'll be starting Sakura. I'll probably do Sakura, Blanca, Bison, yeah. That, seems, that sounds good. You should. You should just play your best characters and really set your matchup against a player of this caliber. I mean, it's, uh, that, that's a given. You just got him. Oh, that could have been super. Yeah, that could have been an opportunity right there for some big damage. I don't know if he doesn't trust trust himself to to not fuck it up or if he actually if he went for it. He, I wasn't watching his hands. Maybe he went for it, maybe he didn't. But it's clear right now the pace is in uh, David's favor. I mean, he's just aggressive. He's, he's going in, he's going out, and yeah. he's just... He's all over. That's what you got to do with Blanca against Kami. He knows his okay. distance very well. That's you see right there. He's yeah. popping in. Good. He's not always going Tachi short. He's not always RC. He's mixing it all up and making you think twice. Yeah, he's that hop. The command hop. Yep. Always, always a good move. I think that's what's good. So right now, it's just David just in complete control. Nothing to fear. Uh, oh. Nice cat is like. Let's see if he can seal this round. Mm -hmm. yeah, no time left. He's not going to get a lot of life because of the lack of time, but not yeah. really going to need it. But he's, up a he's up a character. And yeah. He's up a character and, <laughs> and then so. And uh, Sliver. Uh, you shouldn't miss that combo. <laughs> he doesn't get full meter out of that. Yeah. That's actually good. No, no not going. so good. But yeah. Oh. He needs to not. Really nice bait by David. Playing. Showing some of these new school guys how old school CVS2 is played. That's, that's what's going on with, with, with what's going is, on is, right Is now. that what this is? 
I, but I, but I think it's a good thing because I mean, some of these guys need to see some perspective. Yeah. You know, and then like the different characters that all these guys are able to play is just it's pretty, pretty awesome. And that trap is really. Oh, I see. Yeah, that trap. Can you, grab, can you grab her out of that? I I have a hard time trying to because she sometimes beats me out with jab. Yeah, I mean it's, it's, it's a, it is a mix up, but if he if he does do the RC. Oh, the RC, yeah, you absolutely can. You should be able to throw her out of it. Yeah. Because I think short hurricane, she's at a slight disadvantage. Yeah, that's over. Oh, yeah, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> Besides that, it lasts longer than it needs to. Uh, and again, with those footsies, in and out, got to medium punch on that whiff standing short. If David actually played any of the new school Street Fighter games, he'd be pretty good too. But he doesn't. He doesn't really care. <laughs> yeah, screw those new games. Old games for life. Oh yeah, absolutely. David's too busy being a player, anyways. I don't know if I've played him before. Right? Did, did, huh? did, 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 have you ever played it at MGL or Sunnyvale? Yeah, he's, he's played at MGL and Sunnyvale a few times back in the day. Yeah, I probably haven't played him before. He's really good at third strike too. Really good. Yeah, too bad we have third strike tournaments or Marvel tournaments. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so again, we and somehow, and somehow this game got all the players. Lion X, crouching medium kick into the RC electricity and gets punished. That's supposed to be the row, but unlike Sagat's fierce, Walk is the same. No way in right now for my NX. Oh, that that could have been, been hit super. confirmed. That was supposed to be a hit confirmed. I always do fierce low forward super. That's how easy Link. It's so hard to screw up. If I could do that, I would. I tried that earlier, remember? <laughs> Just the No. Not really. That one's really hard to JD. Yeah. Can't be punching those. Yeah, and again, light light punch ball into RC electricity to bait is out he, a is he, He's not doing the RC light ball though, is he? I, I don't no, think I don't think so. I think he's just using the light ball to set That would be the optimal. That's the Japanese play. Yeah, I, don't even, I don't even do that, but I don't really do jab ball yeah. to get in that much. I, I should probably do it more. I'm still trying to get Will to come back. If I can get Will. Oh, Lord. We got even more players this week than we did two weeks ago. Yeah. I think we could fill up a 32-man bracket if everyone showed up. Oh, absolutely. No doubt about that. Yeah. But I gotta, I'm gonna try and hit up Will, Alex Chu, Haris Bossy, and you know maybe I try getting some heavy hitters. I know Ricky's coming through later. Check this out. <laughs> He's coming through here. Yeah, that's what Ann was telling me. Oh, super cool. Nice to do. And David, just showing this why it's, it takes a lot of skill to play Kagan. He just can't deal with Bobby. Yeah. He, the thing is, like, he has to know how to like get in and stay in. You know, you can't just get in. You can't just do combos. You gotta do some fundamental stuff. Get in and then make somebody think oh, twice yeah. about trying to get out. That was very strange. I don't know if Akata was going for a throw. <laughs> Probably going for a throw. And Linux threw first, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but neither of them actually had a throw because they're too far. Yeah. Right. A lot of the old school players say, play C Chun. I noticed. No, the old school players play a lot of C Chun. C Chun was, yeah, RC, or is considered top tier. RC legs, good normals. I mean, she she like outputs these Ken. I think she dies to sack though. Maybe I should put sack against her. I don't like doing blocker versus blocker though. I, I, I generally don't like mirror matches. She doesn't do too terribly against sack. If it's if it's in anybody's favor, it's in sack's here, but by yeah. not, not by that much. I think it's like maybe a 4.5 or a 4, yeah. a 4 6 matchup. Yeah, that's probably about right. She doesn't really have a great answer for. Dive kick. I mean, you can, just house. She can, she can do that. It's a trade, it. but it's not that great of a trade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's it, though. Because Sakura has a quick fall, and yeah. Chun won't. You can set up the. I'm assuming he likes to do wake up RC legs. I'll try to bait that out. Yeah, you gotta bait that out. Just throw him. You gotta definitely bait out the RC legs. Make him think twice. Oh, yeah. Straight up jump also kills that pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, straight jump. That, that's a great bait. A lot of these new school cats, I haven't seen them do a lot of neutral jump uh, baits. You know, uh, all, all the old school guys are doing it. Yeah. Lion X trying to make a showing at the end here. See, he, he, he straight up jumped that time. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice counter. So yeah. We'll have another super. 
he had, he's close to a K group super. He's up against the Gatsu God. As that's long a, that's as a very long round though. He doesn't get that much health back. Yep. It's very but he has a very good chance of taking this back right now. Oh, that's especially when you oh, do, wow. especially when you do random uppercuts. Yep. Especially when you're throwing away natural. <laughs> Lionex actually might have better footsies here. Without, right now, without his RCs, I don't know how... Oh, no. No, Cloud is... Well, Lion is in the corner, but he's landed more hits. Let's yeah, put it that way. That was uppercutable. Nice attempt. Right now, Lionex has got to be aggressive. He's got to land this Oh, one. man, that was... He runs out of time, though. Now, now this is going to be a real uphill battle for him. My, I mean, uh, David is definitely ahead right now. Roll. See, really smart player right there. Yeah. In and out of the range, jumped in, made it look like an uppercut. All right, I what believe you're up. Oh, okay. So, Haunts versus RHF Druid right now on the loser's bracket. That's what's going on. And uh, yeah, man, Dave, you know what's going to be unfortunate is David is going to be leaving in about 45 minutes. Oh. Well, this tournament isn't taking as long as the other one, at least. Yeah. Well, this is taking mu this is much faster than the last one. It's, it's, more, than, it's more than twice as fast. Cause. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I know, I know David and me were talking. All we wanted was to get a beer. <laughs> That's all we wanted to do is get a beer upstairs, you know? But... Um, Right now, he's got to play some matches. Uh, Handle his thing. Haunts versus Drew. This is loser bracket? I'm assuming. Yeah. Loser's bracket. Haunts right. versus. Um, oh, we got to Whatever. Alright, Jeff Druid. That was the Heroes of New Earth commercial. Holy crap! I played that game like crazy. Heroes of New Earth. Here's a new one, H-O-N, Dota, whatever the hell. Screw L-O-L, dude, you're a scrub. Don't play L-O-L. League. I expose you, go to Han with me. Next location is With your sort of mid-tier A group team. I don't even know if it's mid-tier. Yeah, it's solid mid-tier. Okay, so A group, I don't know about mid-tier. I mean, Terry is probably low mid. Okay. I assume they... Oh, they're just starting over. characters. Shows the wrong characters. Yeah. Yeah, Yuri. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in today, guys. You guys are tuning in to I Play Winner. Um, something's going on on Sundays. I have no idea what the original it's title is. Real Honest Sundays. Real Honest Sundays. <laughs> Whatever that means. CVS 2 and King of Fighters happened earlier. If you guys missed out, check out the replays. And they'll be on I Play Winner's YouTube page. And they'll be on this page even. Apparently, Harji is on here. If you are on the stream chat, Harji, what the heezy. What's up? Uh, yeah, but I don't know. It, uh, yeah, it, it works. Oh, they're just, they're just, they're... What a one-sided match this is. Oh, you want to, you can listen to us. <laughs> get out of, get out of here, Esker. This is a group only booth. Hello, Seglia. I will be, I should be at Dragon Lounge tomorrow to kick it with you guys before I leave out of town for two weeks. Alright, Hunts with Chio, Kami, and Scott. I believe K group. Yeah, that's a, that's a K group team. Against a very unorthodox style. Actually, might be. Does he play end group sometimes? <laughs> huh? Does he play end group sometimes or does he play K? I honestly, I have no idea. Watch, watch it be end group. I have no idea. Maybe it's most likely K. Okay. Chris, you can get dibs on girl. I know, I know. It's all good. You know her already. I barely know her. I texted her today to tell her to come tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. Oh, Saturday Fierce. Not, not bread and butter. I guess that's the bread and butter for shots. Yeah, short, short, short. How come they weren't doing your match with uh, like Lizzy? My match? I don't know. I guess because it's winners and it's kind of far in winners. Or they're just taking forever. Yeah. 
as usual. So we gotta we gotta run through a bit of losers before we go back to the winners and then back to the losers. You know? Yeah. This is where winner semis now. Yeah. Kind, of the, kind of the expected players. Now Agar Guile. I used to play Agar Guile. He's fun. He's stupid. He's fun. Yeah. Ford medium kick, medium kick, medium kick, medium kick, medium yeah, kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All day, all day yeah. long. Hell of damage. <laughs> No. Yeah, no damage. This is gonna be a match to remember. Fight. Richard Lee is standing outside right now. What's up, Richard Lee? Hot and that match with the throw. Good old K Cammy. Cammy Kim matchup. What you think about this matchup here? Is this a tough matchup? I think Cammy wins this. Depends how good the Kim player is. Kim can be really tricky with yeah. a lot of his moves. His roll, his ridiculous roll. Yeah. Very bad right there. So fast. But of course, Kemi has the best normal in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe. That's close. Oh, he had it. The roll activate. Doesn't he have a high-low mix-up? Yes, he does. He does have an overhead, so he can do a high-low mix-up. If he wasn't going to go for a high-low mix-up, he could have done the... Uh, Crunchy short, 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 and then into the... That little head to kick thing, the double kick thing that he was doing. Yeah. That's, that's your guard crush uh, combo. But he, was, he wasn't doing it, he, didn't probably, he probably didn't feel like he needed it. So. Alright, I'm gonna go eat. You wanna play it? You wanna be on the mic? You wanna be on the mic, Mike? Live and let die. Fight. So, I've got Jordan and me on the mic. Mike. Mike. M Ghost. M Ghost. Who I exposed it's with A-Groove. It's A-Groove, man. It's A-Groove. It's okay. Let's get back to the match and we'll talk about your exposure later. <laughs> uh, that's okay, dude. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll beat you. Uh, watch. <laughs> and then when you do, you get to talk about it on stream all day against me. I'll give it to you. Watch. I'll, I'll watch. man up to him. I'll man up to him. Watch. I, I beat you, but I'm not on stream. I'm on another cab. It doesn't matter. You got to beat me on stream. It's got to be evidence. No pick, no talk. All right, all right. Oh, it looks like Hans held it, holding on right now. Yeah, Hans, Hans is holding on right now. You see, he's, uh, he's got half of his K bar. He's got half his health. And he's going against Paul Maru. Going. Oh, Paul Maru uh, should lose this matchup, but I mean, shoot, if he's smart enough, he can take this. No problem. But look, look right now. I mean, he's ready at half, pretty much even. And stun. Oh, and just wow, he meshed that hell fast. I was like, oh wow, just block, please, sir, just block. What an overhead? And doesn't look good for R RHF. No, not at all. I'm smelling awesome. a super. Oh no. Oh. Not exactly what I was looking for. Got him. That's what I was looking for. Lazy, telling Hans how good his Sagat is. Hans Sagat is so good. So good. Sagat so good, even Hans can use him. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Watch it doesn't make it to the, the recording. <laughs> he cuts it off. <laughs> Oh yeah, so um, I was asking you uh, earlier, yeah, yeah. What, what brought you back into the <laughs> CBS2 uh, community? You know? Well, if there's anything that... Here's the number one thing. I like C SFXT. All right? SFXT, I think, is a, is a well-designed game, but people are portraying it different, like raw, incorrectly. The, the game's not being played with gems, and it's two on two. What the hell? Yeah, I, I was quite surprised. When I read it on EVO, I'm like... Yeah. Come so on. those are the two main reasons why I'm back in CBS2. I heard that you guys were doing CBS2 here. I came here. I thought I was going to play a quick eight-man tournament. Go eat and get the hell out of here. But it was a 24-man. It was 24 a 24-man tournament last week. And after that, I was like, I'm done. I'm, I'm back in CBS2, and I want everybody to play it again. So I'm, I'm like, just telling everybody that's an old-school CBS2 player that's a top player, or who should have been a top player, but nobody knew about them because nobody ever saw them. I'm making them all come out. So Dave Tran, um, saw David, Ataka, or Akata, I mean, he's here. So, and they're all making a showing. But who do, who do you want to that track? Do you want to get like Ricky and them back in here? Oh, Ricky's right here. Right there. Oh, yeah, Ricky's right here. So, so there you go. <laughs> okay, Ricky is here. Ricky is here. He's just not playing, but he's here. Yeah. 
Right, a CVS too. You should have you should have answered, Ricky. Yeah, it's cool. It's all fun. So Ricky's here now. Oh man, I think you think he's gonna join next tournament. I'm I'd like him to. I really would. So next time, hopefully we get some Ricky, we get some John Choi. You know, we get some extremely talented players to really, really show you guys what this game is all about. But yeah, SFXT I thought was a good game. Nobody played it anymore. People were talking smack. But okay, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I came up, I came up to you. I'm like, yeah, SFXT, uh, SFXT wasn't that good. I played it. I, it was, it was fun, but it. For me, it was nothing beyond fun. Uh, out of the newer games, I thought it was the funnest and, and more well-designed games. I thought I think it's better than Marvel. I think Marvel's a piece of crap. How the hell do I win in Marvel? I don't even play the goddamn game. So I should not have gotten Team Tournament second place, and I shouldn't have beat anybody yesterday. Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> and I mashed buttons to win, okay? Cheap by the fur, I'll give it some credit, you know? A little bit more skill, a little bit more execution, I and guess. You, and you still troll me. And I still troll a lot of people, and I still win. This game takes a ton of skill. I am missing a ton of combos, and that shows how bad that shows how bad I am and how much I need to practice to actually be a legitimate contender. For do you game. think? Do you think you know? All the newer games, the inputs are a lot different. So when you try to go back to an old game, it's like, what the hell? Absolutely, no. That is an absolute truth. Anybody trying to go from SFXT or Street Fighter 4 or Marvel, and you're trying to play Third Strike, CBS2, or uh, any other old school Street Fighter game, you know. Uh, you're gonna have, you're, you're, you're in for a ride. You're in for a very long ride of learning how to actually play Street Fighter. You're just learning how to play a video game. Yeah, but what if, you know, there's a lot of people watching right now. Yeah. What would you give, like, as an advice to people who want to try to start CBS2? Maybe they, they, they played Street Fighter 4, Marvel a little bit. I mean, what would you recommend, like, them doing? I, here's what I say. I say Street Fighter 4 and all these other games aren't practice mode games besides Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I mean, like, the reason why you go to practice for is so you can learn all these, like, cool combos and whatnot, you know? Mm -hmm. CVS 2, if you're going to play this game, go to practice mode. Seriously, go to practice mode. Learn your bread and butters. Make sure you're executing at least 85% of the stuff you're doing, even if it's short, short, short kicks. If you're missing slippers, that's fine. But after you learn, like, basic combos, bread and butters, you're getting about 85% of your combos. You go out and you start playing people. That's my suggestion. Whether they want to do it or not, up to them. If you guys are from the Bay Area, you guys need to be here. If you guys, if I hollered at you guys to come out today and you guys are not here, you guys are a bunch of freaking bums. <laughs> so I'll call you out on that. So you know how you mentioned, okay, you gotta practice and you know do all your combos. But for me, like if when you see me play, I I play a lot of footsies and weird weird styles, and I don't really combo, but I still get ahead. I mean. Is, is there a way, like, let's say someone is having a hard time comboing, do you think they still even have a chance? I mean, oh my god. Hold oh. on, okay, hold on real quick. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Ship him. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. God. oh gosh. God. That hurts. This is tied 1-1 one, one right now. Haunt and Druid running it back. Wow. All this talking, we missed the fun. Wow. Real honest Sundays with real honest gaming and real honest close matches. You can't get any better than that. Yeah, that's, that's very true. That's very true. Stream monsters, swag monsters, get hype off of that. We've got round three going with Hunts and RHF drew it. Let's go. But yeah, back to your question, to answer your question real quick. Um, mm -hmm. so, so, so someone like you, who knows stuff, you know, and, you, and you're, you're not focused mm -hmm. on actually doing combos, but actually playing the game, it's studying metagame. So studying where to read people and how to mix up your game faster. Because that was the one thing that I started early. You had the early lead on me in that first match. Mm -hmm. You were able to read me. Like, and I started reading you. And that, that was pretty much what happened. Like, I started reading you faster than you were reading me. So I, I think for your case, I think it's a matter of going back to the video, watching the footage. Where did I reach you, and where can you counter me from there? Yeah, I, I try, I try because I, I know, I know you want, I know you want to throw me a lot. I know you want to throw me a lot. So if I dodge, I'm pretty much open. Yeah. You got, you got the RC on the back. So when do I have to choose to dodge? When do I block? It, it was kind of hard for me. Exactly. So that's that's why you want to go back and take a look at it real quick and really strategize. You know, take a look at that. Where where is it that you made? 
where you messed up and I capitalized on it, you know? And, and then you look at that and you're like, well, what if I did this? Because he did this. Now you see a pattern. Now, when, that, when you recognize that pattern, you're like, all right, I'll adjust to this pattern as soon as I see that, and now I made that adjustment first. Now Anthony is in a deficit, and he has to try and outthink me at this point. So that's what I would suggest, is going back to look at your, your match footage mm -hmm. and seeing where I beat you on, not necessarily moves, mm -hmm. but on the metagame. Yeah. And that way you can next time come back, and if you played me, you're going to be like, all right, I have an idea of where Anthony's going. Okay. Okay. Have fun. Bye. I, I see, I see. So, so you could say, so, you, so you're saying basically if anybody does come in and, they, you know, they're kind of new, they, they can't really do combos, they still have a chance. Everybody has no, a chance. Anybody has a chance, but it depends on how serious you take it. I mean, like, okay, I don't want to go into eSports, right? But you look at guys who play like any other game, okay? It's StarCraft, Dota, whatever the hell, mm -hmm. okay? These guys play a lot. A 12 lot. hours a day, minimum. 12 hours a day, okay? They play it almost religiously. The, the amount of time that you put in is the amount of, you know, amount that you're gonna get back. Even even if you're a pro player, like even like me, it's, even though I've already know this game, I'm coming back. I still have to put my due diligence. I still have to respect everybody and then practice to make sure that I'm at the top of my game. And oh, and one one thing I always, you know, one thing I always come you know, come in thinking like never underestimate anybody. Just because you don't see their face doesn't mean. They haven't been practicing. Yeah. Yeah, Haunch right now, though, I kind of in a deficit. He was playing uh, against Abiki, kind of a tough matchup. But if Abiki does his sword slash, she can reverse the super. But I don't know if he knows that, so. We've got your media punch, we've got uh, overhead. You can see that Haunch's kind of panicking right now. Oh, okay. panicky, I think more so. He's not really sure what's going on. It's definitely not Hans's game, but Hans is trying to take the time to learn it. So much, uh, much props to him. He's trying to keep that space. And I guess he's trying to read that sword, that sword range. If he's gonna play K. He's really gonna learn to JD well. That is, that is very true. JD is a very vital important to K group. I mean, that's 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 a do or die. Thing. I mean, if you don't have that, what are you doing? But Hans manages to pull it out. Um, frustrates to Biki. Biki starts pressing buttons, and Haas is getting roundhouse after roundhouse after roundhouse. Now we've got a half life to God level two against level two Dial. Right now, in uh, Haas. Oh, he wasted. Yes, bounce. That is exactly what Haas wants. A wasted level three by Guy. And he took those two bounces, which did very minimal damage, but bought it, uh, brought his bar up really high. Yes. Haas, please do me a favor and learn to. JD. That's a free JD. It's okay. Just hunt. Just do me a favor and win. You have the huge advantage, but you gotta watch out for that bar, that guard bar, man. He's not respecting it at all. Oh, look at that. He has a chance. Han's trying to play the fireball game. Oh! Hans! 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 Oh my God! How do you do it? I don't How know. Do you do I don't it? know. Uh, Hots. Oh my gosh, dude! Bringing it back, He's bringing it back. Came from the gutter. <laughs> he took a shovel and dug himself out of the hole. <laughs> Hots, how did you do it? What is your feelings on this win? Oh my! <laughs> What's up? I'm up. Okay, I'm, I'm up against Eric Lee. What a surprise! <laughs> but you should get on Hans. Tell uh, tell the people how it felt <laughs> when you won. How did how did it feel? How did it feel, Hans? How did it feel? <laughs> he got lucky. Oh, man. No, that's not he lucky. He's holding back. This guy's holding back, man. He, he's trying to not he's, he's he's not trying to expose all of his secrets. Oh man, that was hype. <laughs> that was. So that was funny, dude. That was funny. Dude. All right, so we got Crack Feet on the left, or Anthony, and we got Eric Leezy on the right. Big gun, sir. Big gun. So I was talking to um, I was talking to Crack Feet. He made a shout out, trying to call everybody to come over here. And I, as I was saying it, I was I was like like he's like, what about Ricky? You want to bring Ricky over here? The second I said that, to my left, Ricky came in. Hey man, he might join the next one. That's what that's what that's what, that's what a lot of people were saying. They want to get get um 
get some Ricky games in. Make yeah, it I hope the old school screw really comes back out too, because there were very many talented players. Yeah. For Ricky, you're either gonna love him or you're gonna hate his main play. But you know what? You, you it gotta wins. Respect it that. wins. It wins. You gotta respect that. Oh, look oh, at that! Look at that! The custom. Don't jump! It. Oh, oh he drops it. So, with Joe on, on any rope group, you know, his RC hands are really good. Yep. It beat me. It beat my RC hands on S group. <laughs> All right, because, you know, it's totally RC yeah. hands on S group. Yeah, I know. Oh, he really want to pop that bar. That's good. Okay. At least he popped the bar. You hit him. Got that bar broken. No rage to worry about. But in that matchup, you have to abuse RC hands. Rock just beats Joe in every other way. Mm -hmm. Keep it safe, track. Yeah. Can't do it. Oh, look at that. Nice. He wants to go to that bar. Can't, can't, can't take any more damage. Because Lizzy, if he's just in no life, he's going to be offensive. You just got to wait for those punishes. Yeah, he want to try to get as much damage. He knows he can't do anything. But if you rush him down, the guy's trying to defend, not trying to get hit. That's what, uh, what, that's what Lizzy is trying to do to open up an opportunity to get in some, some damage. Yeah. This is a terrible matchup for Tio. He has no way to get in before using RC Wrestling. Most likely he has to random activate it and trip for the death with the uh, block cluster. Yeah, I can see what you're talking about. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, bro. come on, uppercut! Oh, he's not doing the right block custom. It's okay. I'm pretty sure Crack Fiend knows enough to try to get back and do something. But that JD, that JD is just too good. You, you have to, if, I guess you have to use the best chip custom if they block it. You have to do the uppercut one. That one can break their guard and take off a chunk of life. If you don't do that, you're just risking a, a DP or anything. Yeah, I saw, I saw, yeah, we saw a cannon fight. But, you know, um... Whoa, look at that RC. I don't know what that's that about. But, Rolento is Crack Fiend's, uh... Point, I mean, uh... Well, like, hey, it's super. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> the problem with it is that Rolento without meter is terrible. He needs, he needs meter in order to do the damage he needs to do. And even with meter, there's no guarantee way to activate. He has to do some tricks. Random you out and activate. Oh, oh that God. hurts. Well, regardless, even if he did block, he it's come one in. Or the other. He small jumps in, he's in his favor, 50-50. Okay, let, let's say he did read him on that small jump before the super. What could, what what could Anthony, could Atlanta, what what could he do to roll. get out? Roll, <laughs> roll right away. Roll. He won't, won't catch him on the other side. Yeah, be like one hit. Better than you know just dying. dying. Yeah, I'll take it, like, whatever. You can also RC, you can also RC uh, Scooter Hop away, you know, if you think that uh, he's going to do the super instead of the toss. But so there's options for it. It's literally a 50-50. If he goes for any other option besides uh, trying to tech throw, mm -hmm. he would be able to avoid the super. Yeah, it looks like he swapped out Kyo for Ken, putting him on point. I think that's fine. So you think Ken is a better matchup? He has better pokes, mm -hmm. and also uh, Kent without meter is also okay. Joe without meter is, it's all right, but his streak lies in using the RC hand to uh, activation. Honest, honestly, dude, yeah. like, it, it's cool to see these two people play. Oh, like, drop super. You're an OG, you know. Cut me. I have no idea what was that about. Oh! oh. He got hit by that. He's so good. The, the spiritual flow, uh, spiritual oh, force. Yeah, that too. Okay. This is gonna be a match to remember. So here's a Joe uh, Rock. He keeps spamming that. Lizzy is just JD everything. He's just like, I'm gonna stay back right now, build up that bar. You know, JD once in a while. If I get hit by anything, you know, Joe doesn't do that much damage if he gets hit once with the hands. Oh, got him. He caught him on the sweep. Got him and finishes him off. What What do you think could have happened to avoid that, you know, that, that tremendous amount of damage from that level three? Well, RC hands? Because <laughs> he hit him with counter hit. He, he knows he's raised, he's praying. So all you gotta do sometimes is short short or walk up for it and try to throw it again. Nice counter setup. 
Oh, that hurts. hurts. Free jump in. You, you, need to see, you need to see more standing medium kicks. Gel. It up the uh, fire arrow. It does. So we haven't seen Lizzie's uh, ratio to Kim. So if if, if Crack beats Cammy, what's the what's the match between ratio to Kim and uh, Roletta? Uh, for the most part, Kim has the advantage in terms of offense. Roletta has to run away a build meter in order to randomly activate. I don't know about that. That's extremely dangerous. Oh, drops the super. Oh, okay. See, now we got we actually got to it. So, so you think the first person to get the bar first is going to have the huge advantage? The first person gets a knockdown. You know, for on Relento, you have the momentum. Uh, so if Kim gets a knockdown, I'm pushing Jimmy to the corner. He's screwed. Relento has to run away and get that meter because without meter, he can't do much. Look at it. Look at all that, that guard bar damage. See, Lizzy knows. He's a low meter, he can't do anything. Oh, nice throw. Trying to get that bar back. Trying to build it. to run away right now. Get that meter. Oh, there you right, go. Now, there you go. You have to watch out, though. Pick and, pick and choose. If you were to RC hop or anything like that, uh, Kim can catch him with the up kick, right? Oh, short, short, short. Super. Oh, walk forward. But if, our, if he does a scooter hop and he kill tries to do a super, oh, yes, he's activating midair. Because after a scooter jump, you can still activate. As long well, as you don't suck in, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty crazy. I mean, pretty, you know, I, I'm learning something new, you know. Like, I don't really play Rolento. I don't see that many Rolento players, and especially Kim, you know. Well, that matchup is like one, one in a long time. <laughs> How many people play Athena? Huh? How many people play Athena? Who? How many people? Oh, not that people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Why, <laughs> Athena? I don't know, dude. Right now we have Akata and Phil. Huh? Akata and Phil. Akata and Phil. Oh, my God. That's pretty crazy. Yup. That guy punished a lot of stuff. And I, I don't know, man. I was just zoned out half the time. I was in. Yeah, I was like, but man. He's a good player. Yeah, I know. I, I'm not. Of course, I, I know that. In fact, just watching him play before he beat me be last time. I think. I, I, I still give my man to uh, Phil. Uh -huh. He has the uh, stronger team mechanic like, going on. But let's Fox. see. We can see, you know, how well Blanca can actually, you know, keep it. This it's away it's, from it's a bad matchup overall. Right now, it's okay. But once Soccer gets that meter, Blanca has to be very careful. His alpha matter does not bring out of that stuff. So. See, right now, he has to be really careful. Sakura has nothing to fear. Oh, except fear itself. There we go. Ouch. Yep. Even if he blocked it, it wouldn't have mattered. Because Alpha Counter cannot do anything in this regard. Live and let die. Fight! That was dangerous, that uh, safe ball. Good that Chung doesn't look like she has, you know, any space to move anywhere. Oh, that overhead cross-up. So, right now, Akata has the level three. He oh, does oh. have the advantage. Oh, oh there you go. He oh, needed to do the level two. If he did the level two, it would have Laka would have lost like 60 to 70 percent of his life. They call it a touch of death super for a reason. Oh, oh he dropped it. it! Free punish. Oh. That move is so safe. I know, right? Oh. Oh, no punish. RC lost the win. I saw. And that hurts. This battle is about to explode. Fight. Oh, no. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, Blanca, man, he's the biggest, biggest. You don't even right tell right? me that. That that guy is. Oh man. I don't know. 
Any groove, man. They just rock. Good old Jimin. So strong. Mono with a crowd. <laughs> oh, nice. I don't know if I agree with that. Why not? Get him out. Of the, get him out. You don't want to be in the corner. Use one meter, and he he gets half of his back. That means Bison now almost has a full can of paint. You think you should use it a little bit later? Use it later. You want to run that paint down. Because right now, Bison is have an advantage just against that meter. It's much easier for him to be a Oh no. Ooh. That's terrible. Oh, that now he has to really be careful. Watch out for the air activation, right? We gotta watch out. Oh, anti air custom. Oh, oh drops, drops it. it. Who needs to finish customs nowadays? Everyone's dropping it. Oh, that's that's crazy. Miss throw to a tiger uppercut. Beat to well, lead. Right now anyone can win. So I got to one combo. Look at, look at him trying to build that meter. He jumps in, he's gonna roll it's anyone's cancel. game. Oh, now it is, right? Oh, RC Psycho. RC. Man. It sounds funny when he RC Psychos. He's like, ah, oh, Psycho Girl. <laughs> oh, Psycho Girl. <laughs> I know. Oh, man, dude. I mean, this is really crazy, you know? You got, you got two good people who play footsies. And both of them are C's. It's just who's going to be the, the one that... that whoever that this is the punishment will do. Or whoever Trust pisses me on the, this. Trust me on this. Or whoever that's pisses, that's off, pisses off the other person. Well, I know I know why Akata is going black at first. Mainly because Chun-Li needs that meter. It's not going to be pretty good Chun-Li. She doesn't have meter. He's a bunch of a user more than a battery. So what Black needs to do is be on the offensive while yeah, Sakura doesn't have that meter. So what is what is Sakura's uh, fireball? You know, when, when he when she hit it, you know, Blanca still slid underneath, but still got hit on the recovery. I mean, I know that, but like, what's the hitbox? Like, how, how far is it in front of him? It's pretty far. It's like one giant fist. Oh, okay. One giant invincible fist. Man, I turn away for like a split second, you see Sakura's mic down to like. See, I kind of know what he's doing now. He's being on the offensive, like he needs to be against Sakura. Well, I don't think. I don't you think he's gonna to. waste bar. No, no, don't no waste the bar. No. Don't waste the bar. So basically, as long as Akata stays at low life, there's no reason for him to actually use the, the bar. So he kind of has an advantage because of that. Yes. Now, this is actually somewhat deep. Before the storm, Oh, he catches him. He's taking out low short. Get all custom. Oh. So good, so good. Wait, uh, wake up. Wake up, uh, level 3 won't beat it. Nope, there's a pass right through. He wasn't elevator. Man. What about the other one? When he goes up and then go forward. Hey. Oh, drops it. Free sweep. Oh, nice. Right back tech, you. tech to the throw. Fun. Oh man. Oh, that's, that's, that's bad. RCE like this extremely bad. Can her down, can her down medium. Punch to beat it. It doesn't beat it straight out. At the right distance, it could. Nice. Should have waited a little bit longer, you think? No, his guard was. Uh, well, maybe. Oh, oh nice. nice punish. Oh. Oh, that was bad. Dude, all we had to do is spam that, that punch button. Spam that all day. Yeah. Whatever. She could, but she could have bounced off the wall. But that's still the still, angle. Uh, uh, I know Athena could jump off the wall like at near, near the very bottom. Uh, she's not defeated though. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Oh, we missed the punish. Oh. Nice. But it's very grim for Sagat. Very grim. Oh. One got some combos over. over. This is a match for Akata right now. He has no meter. Five cents full can of paint. Oh. oh. That, that double. Bears. That double. Hit below a belt right there. So I think I think Akata has a slight advantage because of the fact that he can negate Bison's uh, jumping. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, when he has meter, he oh, he dropped it. Advantage. He dropped it. 
No, he messed it. I think he was trying to go for an uppercut there, though. Oh, man. Well, it looks like Sagat has some, something. Oh, except that RC. That RC is very dangerous. to um Alan. Capcom. Whatever happened to Alan? I guess he couldn't make it. Alright, so now we got Hunt on the and Kevin. And Kevin. Lord Hunt. Lord Hunt. You guys wanna make a little wager? You think he's gonna get lucky again? Oh um, man, I think he was totally back ever ever since, you know. Doesn't watch all his big guns. Yeah. But he need, he needs a really JD more. We were talking, you know, we were watching his game. He really needs JD. He's saving his JD for Evo. Because <laughs> <laughs> JD is new meta, right? I know, right? Yeah. JD everything. You win. Speaking of which, you know, hopefully you guys that go to Evo can join the CBS side tournament. I think uh, the running back crew like Maka, uh, Mr. Warzord, and uh, Josh Watts, uh -huh. they're going to host the tournament. Uh, Evo, right? That Evo. Yeah, you know, hopefully we get to see you out there if uh, all things all things go right. You know, I'm uh, you know, I want to try to go to. E I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to go to Evo and uh, bring a couple people along. Uh, and uh, one of the people I want to try to bring along is uh, Lioness. So, hey. <laughs> you know, hopefully I, think I can't make it because you know it is Evo. I mean, yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. uh, back to the match. I have no idea why these. He just did that. Random super. Oh man, it's up KOF 13 tech right there. Oh, look at great, that. Look great cloak. Good stuff, Hans. Good stuff. See, what, what Joe should have done, since he had the really fat, he had an extremely fast taunt, pop that meter before going into the next. Shut that ass. I think he was trying to do it, but the the the, the, the top line was on the other side. <laughs> no fear. What did you what are you trying to do, Han? You got K Groove. Use that. That overhead with the fierce punch, man. That's pretty dangerous. Alright, I would say this this, this next matchup is Somewhat 50 50 ish. Mm -hmm. You know, especially if it's a cave with Blanco and RC Elex. It's a tough matchup when he does have RC Elex. But he can't punish much. You know, like if, if my match against Akata, I couldn't punish anything. It was incredibly tough. He would RC back hop, RC Elex, and he has strong cloaks. It's really hard to deal with. Han should, Han should just let that, that throw go, you know, waste that cave meter. Although I wouldn't it, say so. If you, let, if you let that throw go and take his course, he would take a lot of damage. Really? You would actually... You would take a lot, because it's rage. Oh, that oh, is no. very bad. It's okay. It's okay. He's going to try to pull that, uh, you know, that infinite supers with Sagat, like, you know, oh, what I do with Alina. That's what you do. Unfortunately, they don't have a little bit Come on, charge that K-Groove bar. That would be the most broken thing ever. <laughs> but you got no block. How about that? I don't need block when I have, like, full rage. But <laughs> no, I think Hans. The weird, the weird thing about the way Hans plays, I see he plays offensively, switches up the defense, plays offensively, switches the defense. That's and fine, as long as you're able to, you know, know when. Oh, nice throw. That level one super. Mm, those target shots aren't safe. That that was that risky. was very that was very risky. very bad. Oh. Trying to chip him to death when he get in. Got, uh, got in. Don't feed him that bar. He's, he's Tiger Knee, right? Tiger Knee. Oh, this, this, this is what we're this is what we're waiting for. That Hunt's comeback. Look at all that bar. He's at 25% life. 
Go for broke. Oh, yeah, well, 20%. I guess, guess Kei Toto is not that doable. Alright, so I'm actually up. You wanna get Anthony on here? What's up, Lion X? What's up, Crack? How's it going? I got bodied by, by Lizzy. That was a funny match. Hey, it's okay. I, I got bodied too. We'll be bodied together, my friend. It'll be like uh, CBS2 lovemaking. I'm not too sure about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. I'm kind of feeling a little bit uncomfortable now. Can I get off the mic? You want to get off the mic? Yeah, yeah. That's fine, yeah. Or actually, can you get off the mic? I want to stay on. Oh, okay. So you, you, you're, you're not going. No, I'm not. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. <laughs> So we got Haunted Kevin, hype matches. I almost lost to Kevin earlier. Jeez. What was, what, was, what was about Kevin? You know, when you faced him, what did you think? Um, I couldn't hit combos, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> and, I, and when I played against Eric, I activated and got, like, like punched in the face. So I was like, oh, well, that didn't work out either. Oh, look. <laughs> Stream chat getting hype about CVS2 lovemaking. I like it. All right. Match starts. Haunt versus Kevin. Haunt oh, rocket IQ. Right at the beginning. I'm not sure about that. You know, I still feel that if you're going to play Joe, you need to play with a role character. He's just not viable enough on K or A or uh, K or P or S. Wow. Unless something like that happens. I think it's plenty viable. You just can't uh, abuse his RC hand. You got to play a more defensive zoning style, you know. So his defensive zone is so risky because, like, his fireball is like, you know, like, oh my god. Yeah. Up super so good. Hans, how are you doing it? Hans, how are you doing it? Oh, there you go, Hans. Hans. Bring it back. With the jumping roundhouse. After he went to forward fierce. <laughs> but his range of two is gone now, so that's, uh, that's pretty huge. Actually. That's a big plus for Hans. Oh, that's standing roundhouse. Making him look so godlike. Oh. Total crouching fierce. Very good anti air. Now we got Cammy versus Toto. If if Hans was actually a good player, he can win this. Hans can still do it. I think he can win this. I have faith in Hans. Hans, you make me believe. We believe in Hans. You make me play the American dream. Cats in America. Let's go, Hans. Oh, oh! So sick! That reaction! Oh, whip up a That kind of reaction! <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Total just mixing him up. Forcing him on the ground. You can't be afraid, you're raged! Uh, Doesn't matter. That was. Uppercut! Oh, man. Hot. With a random server from half screen away. It's okay though, man. Ratio 2 Sentinel. It's okay. I, I, I believe in haunts. Just gotta block that. You're okay. You got better range. Just pierce him in the face. Pierce him in the face. You can't be afraid of Toto, man. Especially with no RC. Pierce him in the damn face. Just, just pierce him. Trust me. Cannot have Come on, Hots. Pierce. There have been zero pierces in this round. Come on, Hans, just pierce him in the face. You're for Poppy. Okay, that didn't work out. Like, there we there go, we I go. told you. Let's that fierce, fierce. Turn, He finally threw out three pierces at the very end after I've been begging for it all game. Saving it for this round. All those pierces. Start out with the standing pierce. Okay, good, good. Crash your pierce, good enough. All right, now you can stop. Just, just win. Are you out of here? I'm at the game today, dude. Point blank fireball, not what you want. Oh, God hand. Oh, but you know, Kevin. You cannot beat that God hand. Yep. Oh, man, Hans. Hans, you still make me a proud man. A proud old man. Indeed. Hype matches tonight. This is what we're all about. Real honest Sundays. Real on this gaming, 
with all the old school cats, people will actually play Street Fighter and don't mash buttons. What are you talking about, man? I just match that DP all day. What's up? I match that DP all day. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Akata left. Yeah, Akata left. Akata left, so just scratch him out. He's done. Yeah? Somebody, somebody's going to be ahead of me just because they didn't play. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. So again, just for you guys to know, Akata, who played in winner's semis earlier, against, uh, what's his face, uh, Phil. Phil. Akata has left the building. He has better things to do, like drink alcohol. And if I were him, I'd do the same thing. But I'm not, and that's why I'm here. You're not cool enough. Not cool enough. No, man. I'm really hungry. Anyways, All right. next up, who do we have? Is that uh, Taco Funda? I think, okay, yeah, that's Taco Thunder. Taco Thunder, and who else? And uh, Onikage. Onikage and Taco Thunder. I am putting this heavily in. What? Oh, you guys really did go to the Nike store. <laughs> yo, 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 if any of you guys ever come out, this this whole area is surrounded by good food and good stores. You guys, you guys don't have to come here to play games, but you should come here to play games. You should. In any case, I put this match in the favor of Onikage, and Onikage plays this bread and butter. That means don't be over aggressive, you don't need to do anything cool, just space them out and be patient. I agree. Onikage has very solid fundamentals. As long as he doesn't get you know, too pressured, and Joe doesn't, he's got yeah. this. And it's K. Joe. K. Joe doesn't have anything except for big supers, big baits, like that. Like that. He just needs to be calm, and, and Joe has nothing. Nothing to be blocked with in this particular matchup. We'll get out space, we'll get out zone. Oh, his he messed up his RC. Yeah, but still half a life ahead. I have no idea what that was about. I don't know about that choice, but you know what? He got characters rid of Joe. Down characters, down. characters down, you lose your bar, it's okay. Bar comes back, character doesn't. He still got Vega, and he still got Bison. Two really cheap A group characters. <laughs> Full screen, burning knuckles. So good. He's just running in this field today. Okay. Well, he's got to step this game up a little bit. I think he might need to play a little more defensively. He's got a bunch of characters that can zone people out, but he's being aggressive. And this is what I like to see. Some footsies, very basic Vega playing the win. Terry has nothing on Vega. He plays the perfect game. He's, he's got some RCs going. Play it patiently. Get that meter. He doesn't need to be in the pocket. Stay out of the pocket because you have better pokes. But in this matchup, it's really tough for Vega, actually, because Terry's jumping roundhouse can be Vega's anti air quick note on that. I remember that from playing five years ago. I see. But in a strict footsie game, though, it's not much he can do. In a strict footsie game, he can win, but Terry can actually jump in on Vega. He can, he can do it viably. Random activate. Yeah, just don't drop it. You're, you're fine. Oh, try to take something out. Shift the safe on JD. Are you okay? Oh, sick! That's flashy. I respect that. I I, I respect that. Alright, he's the burning knuckle. Oh, Nikage. So Busting out the RCs. Clutching it out. That's what I want to see more of from you. Because I know he is well capable of doing stuff like that on a consistent basis. basis if he chooses to. Well, right now Are we're going to... saying he doesn't choose to do it all the time? <laughs> maybe he chooses to mess up, which is really not a choice. <laughs> In either case, Bison Almost a full can of paint. You have to be really careful. Right now, he's, he's definitely ahead on the minigame. If I were him, I would try to get the K group activated and then activate my own A group. I agree with that statement. I think he's run out that rage and he's in a very uh, bad position. 
He, he can play aggressive if he wants to right now to, to play the metagame, bait him out, and give me some super stuff right now. So, Whoa! Oh my goodness. I would have just activated. Mash yeah, I would have activated right there too. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he drops it. Oh, this oh, is fucking bad for Onikage. Just speaking of clutch, we need to see the Onikage clutch that we saw from the last round. Are we going to see it? He needs to turtle up right now. Get that meter back. Oh, no. No, not like that. If anything, it should have been an RC scissor kick, the light kick one. Get one hit, jump back, build some meter. The delivery on the very end right there, a little bit disappointing. Onikage had a great opportunity to finish, didn't quite do it. But he's got another chance. He's down 0-1, to one, but he can do it. Yeah, if he so chooses. If he, did, <laughs> he didn't choose to win that last one. He That's did. what I believe in. Yeah, running the same team. Block of Vega Bison. Joe Terry and him. Same order, same stuff. <laughs> now, yeah, the only thing I'd like to see from Onikage again is some fundamental turtle style. Build that meter and get aggressive when you have your meter. Right now, you're just playing into the KU style by being aggressive. That was good. Good RC ball. Very good right there. Oh, he, needs to, he needs to block that stuff, man. Yep. He's gonna slowly chip away at you. Oh, he's gonna just stay out of the pocket or RC hand or RC electricity. I'm sorry. Oh. RC ball. Oh. Dude. Right there, Joe should be running and then standing roundhouse, not crouching roundhouse, standing roundhouse. What punishes that slide? Three opportunities for a big punish. Didn't quite happen. Oh, well, apparently I'm up. Oh, have fun, enjoy. Yep. On the Kage. Stepping up the turtle game a little bit. Countering with only block balls. Gets a custom combo. Let's see if he drops it or not. He drops the custom. As to be expected. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, what's up, Zul? You can't get one here. Who's Coco Thunder? Is that Rob's new name or something? Or What's up? Who's Coco Thunder? Choco Thunder. Oh, Choco Thunder. Choco Thunder, the African brother that plays Kegs with Joe. Anyways, right now, only can get ahead again with the RCs. Those are really, really annoying when you catch them. Onikage has stepped up his defensive games, playing much better. He has a Pretty good lead. Right now, he's close to having his, his uh, A group bar. So, as long as he uh, keeps this momentum, keeps this pace, he, he'll be in a pretty good position. Yeah, because you know, K group can't do anything about that A group, if anything. He's left to block. Man. Again, his goal right here activate the K group, and then sometime in the middle of the K group, activate your A. So you can start the next match oh. fresh and clean. And keeping all that pressure on Oni. Oh, he's over. Well, he, he at least he got the K groove out, but uh, I mean, he died for it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he got Bison. He, bison. He does that Bison. And Kim with no bar. Very scary. Two hits as a kick, not safe. He needs a one hit as a kick. Oh my gosh, he landed right on him. Now Bison can actually uh, activate in between that little scissor pick thing that he's doing. And then, and then do a custom, and that should kill Kim. Kim doesn't have that much health. And he's already under half, so as long as he paints the fence decently well, he can win this. I guess he's trying to find the perfect opening. Not a good opening. Oh man, no fear. I saw that. No fear. Chocolate now. Not showing any fear. Willing to press those buttons to win. Oni is kind of you know, lucky. Panicking. That was very lucky right there. Oh my god. 
no guard bar. Very good. That's what we were talking about. In between that, you can punish it every single time. Oh! That oh fake my out. Oh, man, it made him drop so freaking fast and he recovered. Onikage gets eliminated from the loser's bracket. Chocolate Thunder advances. Onikage is going to have to reevaluate his game a little bit. Maybe that real, horse head kind of stopped him. Real unfortunate there. I really wanted Onikage to win. I think he had a great chance, uh, a great chance of winning. I'm sorry. Nice. But um, no, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Like how I lost. Yeah. Yeah, like how you lost to me, right? And like how I lost to Lizzie. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm eliminated. I got eliminated. Really? Yeah. By who? Um, the guy who plays like Yori, Akuma. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea who that is. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, oh, the guy who's up right now. Uh, on the right side. Gordon. Gordon. So Gordon versus Dave Tran. If I had my money right now, I'm betting on Dave Tran. Because <laughs> Dave Tran's a more seasoned player. I've seen Gordon play. He knows how to play the game. But is that on the highest level? Not quite. On a mid-high level, probably. I, yeah, I got eliminated by Gordon. Uh, it was something very weird on the on the yeah. right side. Like, I could not block left whatsoever. Dave Tran decides to go with Sakura, Hibiki, and Baka. Almost forgot his name for a minute there. He's, that green guy. He's, he's skipping C group and going back to his A group roots. He wants back in this tournament desperately. Oh, there's a dizzy. stun. Big stun. Big meter. Try to bait out the double cut. Damage. Yeah, absolutely. Big damage. You just chip him out right now if he wants to. But he's going for those hits. Yeah, the shorts. He had the up cuts in the end, anyways. Dead Akuma. Right now, um, we got next Yori. Tricky match if Yori has the fastest roll in the game. Yeah, that's how he got me. I dodged. You know, think he's going to do something crazy. He ends up throwing me before I even recovered from dodge. Although Yori has the fastest role in the game, not necessarily the best pokes in the game, but he has a lot of mix-up ability and you're seeing it right now. Oh, yeah. oh. drops the combo, ends up finishing it a little bit too early. RC uh, fireball right there. That does chunk, man. I, I, it bothers me. <laughs> Oh, oh wow, that Finish did a off. lot of damage at the end. It did. A lot. Hibiki Yori, Hibiki. On paper, should win this. On paper. I just want to see Hibiki's custom, that's it. So, so amazing looking. So pretty. Yeah, I know. So pretty full. Oh, that does a lot. That hurts. You know what I haven't seen from GH? What? Uh, Iori's, you know, small jump and, you know, all the cross up with that weird funky kick that extends backwards. Well, he can't small jump. That's oh, me, I mean, I know, but that's why I want to see. It looks like they're trying to take some rust off of playing Ibiki. It, it looks like he's kind of lost. Ibiki can do a lot more than that, and uh, Dave makes it look like it's non-existent. <laughs> But let's see if we can get that in a custom combo. Yeah. That's, it's, it's so like amazing. It just draws you in. Jordan not afraid to use that bar. Oh. You get to see pretty customs. Do a lot of damage? Of course not. But it does, it looks really it does pretty decent damage. And he gets out of the corner. Very smart move by Dave. Um, okay, I guess, yeah. I, I forgot that Yamazaki was ratio too. I, I, I thought I would have sat back and built meter a little bit more, kill the time to make sure that Yamazaki doesn't get too much health. But it's okay. Going in is something I respect. Don't play like a punk. Don't be no bitch. That Blanca though. Oh, got him. Yeah, it's Kalka level 2. You're probably going to see... Oh, he didn't cancel. cancel. Sure I guess he wants to try to get a number, another level 2. Save that meter just in case, you know, as a, another escape needed. Oh. Is that that with the dash and activate. Catch his corner off guard. Wins his first match. 
kind of through the second round when he had Hibiki, though, I thought. I mean, he, he basically just hit uh, hit the other guy twice while um, the other guy hit Hibiki like a billion times. And he basically made that, that big lead non-existent. He didn't try to play defense. He just kept running into moves. Oh, well, now he has a stick with Hibiki because he won. All right, Sakura and Akuma again. Let's go. Starts off with the RC Fireball. That feels RC quite, Hurricane. That feels quite a lot of meter as we start off. It does. In fact, uh, most Sakuras like to go for that Hurricane mix-up. Primarily because, I mean, you have two things. You know, you have a frame trap, uh, and you can build a ton of meter. So if you're playing against Sakura, you know she's going for that. You should do whatever you can to get out, reset the situation, and, and, and try to make it a footsies game. And if she wants to get you away and upon the hit, she can just press like what? Kick yep. again and kick you away, right? Yep. That knockdown. And it reset everything for in her, in her favor. I don't know about those multiple rolls. I know I wouldn't keep rolling like that. Oh, that Very mix nice mix-up right there by Gordon. Gordon Han, ladies and gentlemen, putting some work on Dave Tran. Well, you know what? If Hibiki can't catch up, you know, to, to what is like. So far, Hibiki hasn't shown up, and we'll see. Oh, a tricky activate. Oh, but then block, no recovery. Tried to go for that overhead, got thrown, gets thrown again. Oh, oh my god, Raging Demon. Wow. Wow. Did we just really see that? I don't know, Gordon looks like he has a huge advantage. Gordon. Let's see what a with a definite advantage right now. Reversing the situation of what we saw earlier. You think he read, just read him? Wow. That, that reverse command grab. I mean, the RC command grab. This looks almost exactly like a replicate of the last match. Second character with not too much life going against a full character. We'll see if Hibiki can actually take a bunch of Yori's life this time. Let's see. I mean, get, get one custom combo, you can probably sort of even it up. Oh, no, but RC, RC hands. RC just ruins it. But no fear, you know, you still save like half your bar. So. Activate was kind of far. I don't know about that activate. What, what do you think? I don't think it was good, but I guess he wanted to try to get as much damage in. Position-wise, though, I wasn't, wasn't a fan of that. Not at all. RC blocked the ball. Keeping that pressure in the corner. Oh! Activate. And we know what's going to happen. Super foul. Jumping jab. That jumpy jab looks so silly. But it beats a lot of things. It's so silly though. Oh, it misses the RC right there. That applicant would not have beat that normally. If I were to jump in with uh, Athena and that's like roundhouse or, or medium kick or fierce punch, that beats it. Yeah. Ridiculous. Oh, he was just waiting to see if he's going to do a block of ball to counter it. Gets a combo right there. We're about even. Yamazaki a little bit ahead. Having a hard time catching up with Blanca because all Blanca has to do is run away and build that meter. Once you build that meter, you have, Yamazaki has to stay away. There we go with Blanca with a full oh, meter. Yamazaki in the row. Oh, no. no. Dropped it. Oh, grabbed it from behind. Boom. Oh, that bad game. Bro. Get bopped. All right, now we go to round three. I, I think, I honestly think David should just drop the BG. I think you should go back to the C group, to be quite honest with you. I think he should stop playing A, play C. A group is a totally different metagame. If he goes back there to the go. C, there you see. There you exactly see. what I'm talking about. His, he's more solid using his short, short hit confirms into sippers and playing that metagame with the, with the walk forward short shorts than he is with trying to random activate. You know, like random activate, you have to think almost like you're parrying. Yeah, and it doesn't look like he's playing it that I, way. I guess he wanted to give, give everybody a show, you know, like, hey, I want to use a groove on characters that you really, want, you know, really would see on on, on the groove. Yeah, to make it flashy. But now it's serious time, right? At least he won the first match handily. Those so Ken's on the roll right now, putting some pressure on. Roll Ken's Rondo though in the corner. Never ever a good position. The corner. 
in any Street Fighter game. Unless you can turtle. Yep. This is an RC, apparently. Oh. He catches him. It's like a sure you can Wake game, up, man. sure you can again. Roll, sure you can again. First person can get RC off win. Or a throw. Or a throw. You want Akuma to build that meter, building meter, keeping the chunk out of, out of the way. Now trying to play the footsies game, chun -Li not doing too well. He's doing the, the, the uh, RC kicks to get out of the fireball trap, but I mean, that could be really dangerous. I mean, Akuma can just come down, wait for the RC to end, and just punish him really hard. Exactly, exactly. But it's not happening. Dave gets away. Over half health Chun Li against Niyori. This looks like a. I actually don't know the matchup for this. Well, I don't. I haven't really seen. I haven't really seen Gordon actually land any Niyori supers thus far. Yeah. You know, I've seen him land a lot of Akuma, a lot of Yamazaki, but not Niyori. Yeah. So I think I don't know if he's going to just use the bar. Use it for alpha, uh, alpha counters. Yeah. He uses a lot of alpha counters, I noticed. And he's willing to give away that guard meter to get some damage. But that's bad against Chung. One poke, and then she could use her lightning kick super. It's over. Getting ready on that jump right there. Reacting very well with the crouching Pierce Yori. Crouching roundhouse. That was. That was kind of bad. That was kind of bad. I mean. It's clear that he's trying to remember the game, and he's thinking that, I mean, like in Street Fighter 4, that would work, right? It would definitely work. This game, it doesn't work. Note to everybody who plays Street Fighter 4, that doesn't win against fireballs. Yeah, you have to reevaluate your game when you're going back into this. There's a lot of properties that are changed. It's not the same. Just like any other game that you learn, there's always going to be a lot of different properties, and you got to relearn the entire system. And you guys don't need to worry. Whoever gets back into CBS 2, there is no patches. No patches at all. Whatever you see is all there. Nice oh, wake, wake up. up. Nice wake up by Sagat. Yori was most likely trying to uppercut right there and got a fireball instead. Uh, I don't know that many people who would wake up fireball ever. No. Uh, unless it's RC. Yep. This time it's a match point for both players. Sagat has enough to make a comeback. Now this is more than viable. We've seen this more than once. Yeah. Both characters have pretty much full guard bar, so no yeah, one's going to... Yamazaki clearly in the lead, though. Very nice setup. Very nice ticket to the throw. And he's got that level 2 bar. Because Yamazaki is... In a decent position, but still not a great position. But Sagat has a better like poke game in him, you know. He, he does. He has a medium kick, light kick, down here, standing here. Hey, see right here, the footsies game, you know, right now is steadily going into Sagat's favor. We got 50 seconds left on the clock. Oh, okay. So that, was that was a level one, one. though. That was a level that one. That was a level one. That kind of scared me. But with level two, he could have followed that up a little bit more. Oh. This time, Yamazaki capitalizing on the footsies game. That down medium punch, beating out a little spike. He and tried he tried again. again. Oh, try for a throw. I'm pretty sure. Oh, if he oh had that my meter. gosh. Is he going to go for that mix-up? Oh! oh he goes for the cross-up. He lands a short jab uppercut, and he takes it. He, he does. He does. Dave Chan does a great job capitalizing on the opportunity right there. Good job, Dave. No panic. No panic at all. You can see he was focused. He knew what he was trying to do. He didn't waste his level two super. He did a level one, trying to play safe. And Brilliant yeah. play. Exactly. Unfortunate for Gordon. And missed the block in that one was a little bit ambiguous. Great match. It was great. It was a great. Great match. Exactly. And up next, it looks like we've got a commercial break. <laughs> this is winners finals. So we got Phil and Eric Lee jumping on board. A run back of last week. Eric took it. Phil was coming back from losers. So let's see what happens this time. I mean, Phil is a terrific player. Um, yes, he has got some tremendous execution. Also, a really smart player. Underrated as a as a thinker. <laughs> he tends to not want to think what he can. Yes. 
He can think, and he can't beat you. But you, so. you, you, you gotta realize if Phil drops a combo, it's gonna be really bad. No, Phil's this been dropping combos all day, so right now he's gotta step that up. All right, so here we go. We got Lizzie starting with Cammy. Phil choosing to start at Blanca. Probably a wise choice. Good to build that meter. Good to keep away Cammy. That's gonna hurt. K group throws are very painful. It's a level one super every time. Oh, nice. Oh wow. He's Eric. keeping that pressure. He's keeping that pressure. He knows like done. Once he gets that bar, it's over. So he's like, I want to try to apply all the pressure I can, and he eats it. Oh, he he didn't think he didn't think about he didn't think about the fifty percent damage. From I, I don't know. I, I think more so it's just kind of like he's not confident enough to do the mystery combo because the mystery combo with Blanca is extremely difficult. I'm not talking about a little bit difficult. It's extremely difficult. And very few players use that because it's just that easy to drop. There's only a couple people that I know that would do that. One of them is Ricky Ortiz. And he does it very well. But he still drops it. 85% or less? Yes. All right. So what do you think about this matchup between Bison and Rock? Bison's favor, for sure. Oh, See, that's, that's a smart shit. move. Oh. Smart move. Oh, oh no. He this time Lizzy drops it. Look at all those JDs. Again oh, with JDs. He knows that Bison can't really do much except RC. Trying to get him in. Trying to get in before that. He is JDing go. every single one of Phil's moves, but not that one. No, no, not that one. Not that one. Reading him really well. He knows when he's going to try to throw. Wow, look at that. Got another bar. He tried to guess, didn't guess right. Pays for it. Well, you think, you think he would have probably got hit if he did an RC? Shrug. <laughs> Shrug. I, I don't know. <laughs> At that point, you're guessing a billion different things that could possibly be going. The row, walk up short, walk up activate. There's a ton of things that are going on on, the, on these guys' minds when they're playing Man, each other. Phil just want to get rid of Lizzy. He's doing everything popping. He doesn't even, doesn't even care. He's like, I want to build that meter again. I'm just going to try to chip you and do as much damage as I can before he gets to his soccer. But I think that's a bad mistake because he needs that meter now. He needs that meter. I'm not saying it's, it's hard to build it. Oh, he almost caught him. He was able, he was able to build up like 60% of his meter. Go for broke. Fight. Sakura in a very good position against VZ. But Kim, a, a master of executing some of the most difficult moves in combos in this game. And very tricky. And and he's very smart. I mean, these are two smart players going at it. That now a dangerous position. Oh, oh I thought Sakura was going to go for that standing jab to activate. Didn't try to go for it. Oh, oh, oh he caught him. God. He caught Eric him. Lee baits him. So hard. So hard. Got to be careful, though. But oh, He that has bar. a full bar again. Oh. That's it. Unless he drops it, that's it. He doesn't drop it. He doesn't drop it. Give me a second. I'm gonna put Lion X on the mic. You up? Are you up? So you're up? Okay. So Crack Fiend's going up against you, too? Okay, cool. Now we're down two people. Alright, now we got Hunt. Oh, sorry. Damn Ghost, what's going on, man? Not much, man. This is me and uh, Crack Fiend. Just trying to commentate, see all that crazy action. That was, like, that was a great match right there. It was, uh, it was. And to, to all our viewers, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is Hans here, uh, iPlayWinner.com. Uh, if you want, want updates on tournaments and stuff, follow iPlayWinner and Southtown Arcade on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter, Al Hans. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that was a great, uh, that was just a great match, man. Bill clutched out. Uh, as you guys are saying, he's been dropping a lot of those custom combos throughout yeah. the day, but he clutched it out right there and made it happen. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> it was kind of funny because Lizzie was outside. He's like, I bet you. Phil oh. just drops all these combos. Oh, caught him. Wow. That was crazy. Sorry, I was trying to play something, but that just shut me up. <laughs> I know. It's, I'm, I'm over. It's up.
Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, so at least he's coming back with a vengeance here. Uh, you know, he's obviously not too happy about that. He played uh, terrific in that last match by uh, Jay, Ding Jay Ding, a ton of moves with the Rock. Yes. And uh, so I'm sure he felt a little cheated at the last match, going in real hard. But uh, Phil, he's locked and loaded with uh, full A group meter. There you go. Let's see if he can uh, convert here. Uh, he oh, drops he drops it. it. He drops it. Oh, okay, there we go. That combo. That's standing short and super, right? Phil needs to get his act together, man. He needs, yeah. to, he needs to stop panicking, trying to do everything, trying to, trying to take a step back and think what he's got to do. Just this because is, you win one doesn't this is, mean you give to, up. To me, I, it just seems like classic easy, man. Like, you, you'll get a loss, right? And it'll come in that next next match and just turn off the heat, you know what I mean? Yeah, but he, you know, at the same time, you don't want Lisa to expose everything, because uh, if right. Phil reads him, yeah. that third match is going to be very difficult. It's very difficult, exactly. And uh, so it's gonna be, I, I feel like it's going to be, it's gonna be pretty difficult, but uh, Phil can definitely make a comeback here. Oh. Uh, RC Fireball from Sakura. I don't know about having Rock as his, his, his Anchor? Anchor. Yeah, you know, Kim is usually his best anchor, I feel, but uh, who knows, maybe, you know, maybe he knows something we don't hear, so. Oh, look at that. Met, he missed oh. the RC. Show, show. This is going to be it for Kami, probably. He doesn't screw it up. So yeah. Ratio 2, just can't do anything. Go for broke. Fight. Rock needs to do as much damage as he can right now before that meter is up. The second that meter is up, it's going to be real tough. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much over. Right, working on that guard. Bill's working on at least his guard bars. He's going to make some happen. Okay, good JD, but uh, still, still blinking. Oh, and he's got it. And this is definitely going to hurt. That, it, it is really going to hurt. Not only that, look at this guard bar. He's not going up. And, and his, and his Maygroove uh, bar is... Oh, my God, and a rare miss from Leezy. Oh, that's a shame. What? No, what is from Phil? This is insane. Oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. Bring it wow. back. Bring, Bring it, it back. It. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh! Oh! Holy oh, no, shit. Stand oh up, feel my himself. God! Wow! Oh my God! That was amazing. So clutch. So clutch. That Yo, was that was only insane. only here, guys. Only here yeah. we see something like that. That was insane, man. See, Le Leezy just has this will to win, man. You yes. know, and, and and unlike many other players, especially uh, new school players, he just has this just this amount of clutch play that just. I, I don't see many newer players really uh, uh, compare better to that, really. Yeah, yeah you, you can see the concentrated look on Lee. Right. It's just like, even at that moment where he could possibly lose, he doesn't give up. It's like, yeah. right. as long as I have life, I can still win. You. Oh. Yeah, no, I hear you, man. And uh, all too often we see players just kind of say, you know what, this is unwinnable. See a loser's bracket, you know, whatever. But he says, you know what, screw that. It's not here. over until yeah. it's over. Yep. So putting on the pressure with Kim. I mean, all things considered, you know, it's like. Hit. Oh, oh, that roll. Oh, he missed. This match is just moving so fast right now. One new thing after another. We can't even talk about it right now. Yeah. It's like, oh, he countered, but oh, this is what happens. Yeah, so uh, taking out Blanca, good stuff. Um, you know, that last match was definitely close, and, you know, I'm definitely there with you. It seems like Kim Anchor is definitely the strongest uh, uh, place for at least Kim, but... Uh, I think what he's trying to do is he knows he's going to have a hard time with the first two characters. Right. Using Rock and Kami. So he's like, I'm going to try to clear out as many characters as I can right now. Right, okay. Makes sense. And uh, try, to get, try to get that Sakura as quick as possible. Now, it, right now, it's pretty this much up to how much Kami can do. Yeah. If Kami can get to that Sakura, then it's going to be really good for Lazy. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Phil slowly but surely bu building up that Avery bar. Oh, rare miss. Oh, there's a pop. And all right, let's see if you can do it. All right, paint the fence. It's in there. Oh, oh he drops oh, it. He drops it. it. Let's see if he's going to try to chip. Oh, got him. Oh, got him. All right. Yo, you got, got so much time to do that. Yeah. That's, uh, what is that? Uh, far standing fierce, link into super, right? Yeah, link into super. Yeah. Boom, get like a second or two. Just pop it. Uh, crazy. 
All right, so let's see uh, what he can do with Cammy here. Oh, oh.